Hi. So I'm still in the process of moving things, and boy, I am exhausted. So it is indeed another binge compilation. And since there is a whole bunch of newcomers here, allow me to explain what the binge compilations do in the shortest way possible. Okay. The short late night Tumblr videos are people who like to watch it instantly and usually daily. The binges are more for people who like to listen all at once or maybe listen to it while they're focusing on something. And the mega binges are for the people who like me who like to listen to things while they fall asleep. Believe me, I know my crowd. Then there's the EAC Mega Binge, which is like 15 hours, which I can't do a second time, so I guess that's a one-shot deal. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you guys when I'm all fully moved in, but for now, it's a binge compilation. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Ghost sword that can only be grabbed by someone with phantom limb syndrome. You know what? Why shouldn't I just tag probably bad RPG ideas? Um because it's good. Waiting for my friend in a different time zone to get online, like a woman waiting for her husband to return from war. It's like me sending out the files to Andy, like throwing a bottle into the ocean, like, come home, weird British husband. Make the video funny for me. Character dynamics that's like, they weren't in a relationship, but <laughs> they're definitely exes now. Holy crap. I miss the times when I would draw and not nitpick the details. With the speed that I'm currently going at, this ain't gonna be finished soon, Lamao. Back to my abyss I go, Wee. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Yeah, and what of it? My hands are full and my ass is fat. You fucking wish you were me. Remembering a couple years ago when I reminded my dad that I was queer and he asked me if I had a girlfriend, I said no and he said, so you're just LGBT in theory. I came out when I was 18 and I'm 21. Now my grandma asked if I had a girlfriend and I said no. And this so-called Christian woman said, Ooh, I should have stayed in the closet. That's, that's embarrassing. Kind of cringe, isn't you? This is one of those moments in the video that people should probably look at the screen because if you're just listening to the audio, those last two posts can be very confusing. Do you ever see a hot take and you're like, oh, critical thinking is a learned skill. And OP is not put into practice. Well, do you ever see a hot cake and you're like, oh, <laughs> yummy. This lasagna recipe has gotten me an insane amount of ass. OP, where's the link? OP, where's the link? Why do you even want a live action adaptation of Avatar? Well, it, it's good already. The story was told in a good way and you, you can watch it. You don't need it again, but worse. You could literally just take out Avatar and put in anything recently. Honestly, I could do a deep dive rabbit hole investigation on this whole live action adaptation thing and see if it's just a bunch of IP renewals. But uh, you gotta let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Someone would just put a fucking Harry Potter pose on my feet as a recommendation based on your likes. So why not recommend me smallpox next or arthritis maybe? Settings, account settings, content you see, filter post content, add Rowling, JKR, Harry Potter, Snape, Remus Lupin, whatever you want. Look, look, you'll never see it again. I'm not doing all that. Tumblr should just ban all things related to that franchise. Oh my god, you are like a mewling helpless baby. You're standing in the rain and I'm offering you a goddamn umbrella and you throw it on the floor and yell at God to abolish rain. Is it entirely possible you weren't asking for help? You just wanted to be a little bitch, baby! Fuck. I can't believe I wasted my entire life being moved by art and beauty and the indomitable human spirit. Ugh. I should have been making money through internet scams. Ah, uh, love. To a plain's heaven kiss. Latios and Latios. You know, I thought that said Latinos and Latinas, and I was just, like, going to accept it. What's wrong with me? Now, I'm no media literacy expert. Look at me, I can't even say words right. But I think the people base their knowledge of world events off headlines problem would probably go down significantly if you could read more than a headline in the first two paragraphs of an article without hitting a paywall. Hmm. Lord, the peasants are loud today. Pheasants, pheasants, the birds. Classicist type. Um, don't you mean classes typo, as in discriminating against poor people and not classicist, the type of academic who studies antiquity in Southern Europe?
Academia typo. Fucking nerd. Oh my god, Andy, I am so sorry. This is your 400th video you have edited for me. How you feeling? Yeah, it seems like a a reasonably safe expression to have. You... <laughs> Somebody call a doctor. Well, have you considered that maybe the unstoppable force is in love with the immovable object? Maybe the reason one refuses to stop and the other refuses to move is because they both long for the collision. Oh. My least rational fear is what if I end up being a pony in the MLB universe? <laughs> okay. And I get the most revealing cutie mark, like, what if my cutie mark is the bisexual flag, and I have to cover it up with makeup for years and pretend to be a blank flag to not get outed to my conservative Pegasus father, whose... <laughs> God. Whose favorite newspaper is called The Right Wing. Uh... Hmm, sounds like... Bing. When you're unsuccessfully looking for something and start gradually increasing your it could be there range. Like, yeah, sure, maybe the rice cooker pot is in the freezer. Oh no. Limbs be left hard to draw, please. Posts without tags? Adding tags to your post helps people find them. Why would I tag my suffering? Can anyone tell me why I enter the grocery store a normal person and emerge as some sort of vile, ravening monster? It's the prices. Overstimulation fluorescent lighting. You are all correct. You random nobody! Me to a newborn baby. While looking up 1950s slang, I found the phrase, come on, snake, let's rattle, which has two meanings. Asking someone to a dance and challenging someone to a fight. And oh boy, does that fact have some potential. Aren't you tired of being nice? No, I'm tired of everyone else being mean. I want to go apes. I just want to hug. Hey, have you ever thought about entering into a cat show? With this? Well, <laughs> he'd probably at least get a participation ribbon. The primordial soup hypothesis. Hmm, learning about fun new things in bio. Collect my soups. The Met Office warns the UK will be double fisted by deadly snow and ice. Needless to say, this isn't a term we would use to describe the weather. <sighs> if this post gets 3k notes by March 15th, like two months, I'll dye my hair a new color, get new clothes, stay clean from SH for two weeks, get a new piercing, and actually make an OC. I know I ain't getting 3k notes, so good luck, Lamau. Well, time to Mr. Beast this shit. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? I'm gonna be right back, gonna ask the force which out on a date. My firstborn child has been stolen. Your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. No, you live in a society. I live in my meticulously crafted daydream universe that I've been using as a coping mechanism since childhood. And you will not take that away from me. It's important to read to your kids, but not too much, lest they start saying words like, perchance and undoubtedly. And then you run, run as far away as you can. God, America kind of dropped off these last couple hundred years. They used to call it the Wild West, now it's just the Midwest. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I like that one. This is my unethical polycule. The non-monogamy is consensual and negotiated. We're just evil in other ways. Like, for example, I just took the letter N out of the alphabet. How do you feel about that now, Editor A.D.? <laughs> Honestly, Pokemon is the ideal universe, not just because there's cute animals that are your life companions, but because they have walkable cities and adequate biking infrastructure. Now, hold on a second. My only problem with the Pokemon universe is, like, a country's, like, I don't know, like, nine towns? How does it work? Man, do not deliver DoorDash to a gnome. I got lost in the whimsical forest for 27 fucking days, solving musical riddles and matching colored mushrooms and shit, and I didn't even get a tip. Oh, sorry I didn't tip you, but the Guardian Frog's riddles are not that hard, and my blueberry plum swirl ice cream was completely melted after you spent, oh, I don't know, 27 days failing to think of a lily pad? Which is literally always the answer to the musical riddles. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Zero stars. I love when my cat meows at me and I can see her little teeth because she looks just like this. Oh my god. How did you get these two pictures of cats? 
British people losing their accents when they sing proves that they just use it for attention. As a British that can sing can confirm my accent just completely changes to something else entirely. I don't know how it happens, it's witchcraft, I swear! Well, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave this microphone here and I'm gonna go, Andy. You, whatever happens, happens. You don't... You don't gotta do a thing, you just do your stuff. I'm gonna go, I got places to move to, things to see. I love you, dog. Thanks for 400 episodes. Okay, all right, I ain't gotta go. So as it turns out, it's not the the 400th video Andy has edited for me. Um, well, don't I feel like the goofiest little dude in the world? It's fine. It's fine. All right, look up, Glade. It's so funny to be called manipulative by a parent when you're a child. Like, I can't manipulate you, girl. I'm seven. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, pilot speaking. Yeah, we expect today's flight to be normal. Um, if you look out your window, you shouldn't see the skull. Good evening, passengers. This is the wizard speaking, and boy, do I have a treat for you. Without revealing your actual age, what's something you remember that if you told a younger person, they wouldn't understand? Video games only worked on channel three. Oh God. Imagine getting murdered and you go to heaven and God is like, yeah, they turned your gruesome death story into a podcast. <laughs> Player one, a druid, currently rolling death saves in the mouth of a big cat. You know, I've lived a good life. Circle of life and all that. I did eat those cats on the mountain, so I guess this is karma. Player two, also a druid. Shut your mouth, I have a healing spell. <laughs> Andy, don't even show this one yet. Don't. <laughs> I have to apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. Clown girl Yuri for the soul. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> I can't anymore with these people. Trans computer girl. Call that a transistor. Hey, isn't that isn't that XJ9 F from my life as a teenage robot? Isn't that her? Pretty sure that's her. Man, I made so much money. How much? Bitch, you know my employer told you. Well, you have to guess, and if you get it wrong, you go to jail for a long time. I'd like to debunk that for a second. No, you do not go to jail for a long time if you're off by, like, a few numbers. You just have to pay whatever that amount is and maybe, like, a wrong fee. It's when you start getting to the six-digit ones that you're off by where you go to jail for a long time. So if you're a freelancer and you think that, like, that $40 commission check you, you didn't put in is not going to take and you think IRS is going to send you to jail, they're not going to send you to jail. Just relax. Well, you support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how'd this alpaca learn how to type? My parents have access to mine and my brother's bank accounts and accidentally took money out of my brother's savings instead of theirs to pay their mortgage. And now every time we tell him to do something, he says, You can't talk to me like that in my house. Okay, yeah, whoever made this Oreo, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I don't care if vans are in good hiking shoes. I'm not gonna look lame in front of squirrels. I'm gonna trip on my face the entire time, but I'm gonna look good doing it. One time I dreamt Mr. Krab sold the Krusty Krab to make NFTs. You know he would. All right, stop right there. Hold on a second. No, he wouldn't. I'll tell you why. Mr. Krabs is notoriously cheap. If he has to spend money to make money, he ain't gonna fucking do it. Chances are he would try to build his own Bitcoin mining system out of, like, garbage computer parts and fail miserably at it. Ew, hey, you're French? Blocked. The key to fanonizing your faves is to simply become academia-brained about it. Never make a statement about a character you can't back up with at least three references to the source material. And no. You can't use Wikipedia as a source material. Well, why not? Hey, let's sword fight an abandoned castle and then make out. You could just say Castlevania, it's fine. Okay, guys, let's make a normal sandwich that is normal and not diseaseous. I will start. Bread. 
Born. Bread. Mmm. Yum. Light motifs drive me insane. Like I hear repeated melody that has an association with a person, idea, or situation, and I go. <laughs> oh boy, it's the last video before I move into a new location. Oh boy. I can't believe media was actually about boink the whole time. One. One possible interpretation. Yep. Two. Literally the main theme. And three. Worst take you've ever seen in your life. Can you guess which fandoms get infected by number three? Velna, your nose's nose like nobody knows. This is the best compliment my art could possibly get. Notes. All of my notes for this story disappeared from my phone, irretrievably. I'm being so incredibly brave about it. You wouldn't believe how brave I am right now. It's actually incredible. <laughs> Why do you people love rubbing buzz cuts so much? Nice texture. Fuzzy. It's like velvet that doesn't hate you. Like petting short hair dog. I am learning so much. My friend got a tattoo on his arm that says, Comparison is the thief of joy. And I'm really debating getting the same tattoo on my arm, but just a little bit bigger. And then someone walks up to both of them like, Wow, this is just like Steven Universe. And then they both are like, We don't want our arms anymore. Just, just take them off. My roommate moved out and my cat called Dibs. <laughs> this is going to be piff as soon as I leave. Neurodivergent or handy culture is either forgetting things three minutes later after they told you or having something you remember every single day even though it happened seven years ago. There is no in between. And it's usually traumatic. Big issue with linear time is that when there are a few minutes until some event and there aren't enough minutes to do anything with, you just, you just lose those minutes. I think you should be able to save them for later and then combine them into a chunk of leftover time that you get to use at the end of the day. Like bonus hours. Wait, million dollar young adults novel idea. The hero saves all those chunks of times and uses it to prevent their own death. I love how overthrowing the government is a crime. Like, what are you gonna do? Get law enforcement after me? <laughs> My sibling in Christ, I own the law enforcement now. Some woman on the street below just hit an operatic high C and then screamed, I'll fucking kick your ass. That was the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. Hey, Sid the Avenger? This post has over 50,000 notes. People have added on that the woman on the street below was Brendan Urie, Christine Day, Christian Kenoweth, Roger Taylor, Star Kid, literally me, and literally you. And this is the only valid edition. Andy, give him a gold star. They did it. Please stop framing me for murder. Just because I've killed 1,846 people doesn't mean I killed that specific one. Man, this is a staring from Baldur's Gate 3, I swear to God. Oh no, it's Jeff, the mild inconveniencer. Sure hope he doesn't do anything stupid to the video. Woke Agenda killed my son. They came down and killed him with rocks. They bashed him with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say, Pucky? Would you say that the Woke Agenda <laughs> put your son to sleep? Teachers be like, what inspired you to write this essay? Bro, the, the deadline. I've started saying I no longer wish to be vertical when my legs are tired and I want to sit down. It's a good way of doing it. I have invented a new game. I call it Stick Wars. To start, everyone is together in one place. Then everyone splits up to look for these sticks. And after a set amount of time, everyone meets back up. Oh. God damn it, Jeff. Hi, so welcome to the sequel to, uh, This Madness. Because boy howdy, did that video spark some interest in dead internet theory. We <laughs> So when it came to the last video, I noticed one of the most common uh, responses to it was like, well, that's just X. And, you know, X is, you know, it. <laughs> come on, man, it's X. It's going to have a bunch of those. And you're right. It, like the whole reason that even is a thing is because the way the verification stamp works, as long as you pay for the monthly subscription, you have a chance of gaining ad revenue through engagement. So the more the robots engage, the more money they collect. It's a whole mining system. I can, if I was like a drama YouTuber, I probably would like deep dive into that. But I'm the funny voice man. I read the funny voice things. If you want to watch somebody who's really good at doing deep dives like this and analyzing things, I highly recommend 16 Leo, very underrated YouTuber. Go check him out. Good stuff. Love you, Leo. The other one was, well, you'll only see those things if you go looking for them. And once again, you're right. But I think it's also important to realize that sometimes you do have to go looking for it so you can figure out sometimes if 
posts that seem just a little off to you are actually done by a person or AI. But yeah, let's dig into this further and no better place to start than the article I mentioned in the last video. The What is the Dead Internet Theory by Danny DiPlacido at Forbes. And by the way, Danny does some amazing stuff. You could check out their uh, stuff on Twitter and Forbes as well. Great writer. Love what they do. Let's start with good old Amazon. You know, that shopping website everyone says they shouldn't be using, but use it anyway. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against open AI use policy. Black. $1,600! Apologies, but I am unable to assist with this request. It goes against open AI use policy and encourages $943.79 for a chair that folds. And here's a few more. I apologize, but I cannot generate the analysis you're requesting. Brown! I apologize, but I cannot help with that request. Cream! I apologize, but I cannot provide a specific analysis and generate a new product title without just $6.10 for two doilies. Say, that's, 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 that's the money. Nature's Vagina Calendars, 2024 to 2025. I apologize, but I cannot assist with generating a sign. This was made by somebody. Their name's right there. I can probably guarantee that the name is fake too. And these just look like AI generated images. The semi-nice thing about this, though, is Amazon, I think, actually fixed this because I tried typing these in myself and I didn't get any results. But to say that it didn't happen before, that I'm just going to put this image up. I don't even want to read it. I just want to prove a point that you could have had typed this in and gotten these results. And look at those fucking chairs. <laughs> Telling me six of those chairs cost $2,000. Get the fuck out of here. Now the comment is, is, well, you would be smart enough to know that those are probably fake items you're not going to get if they're just being procedurally generated like that. That is true. But what you're also not taking into account of is maybe the listings that were able to get it right. I mean, that's the whole point of the AI system, is it not? It's supposed to get bigger and better with the more things you, you feed it. That's why the art AI thing was kind of a big fucking problem. And I could I could do a whole rant on that because I, you know, apart from the voice acting stuff, I also do art, I do music. I'm in like so many fields that AI is fucking finagling itself into and I don't like it. But anyway, I digress. If you're wondering about a situation where maybe one of these fake AI things got away with this, we can look no other than this lovely post from Tumblr. My sister got a book for Christmas on how to care for tarantulas alongside the tarantula supplies. She's wanted one since she was eight and she's 15 now. And basically it appears to have been written by an AI. She realized quickly that the book was riddled with errors, repetitive and badly written. And after some investigation found that it was self-published using a website that offers AI tools to help you write your book. Now, of course, this is the internet, and you could say, well, where's the proof in that? I want to see pictures and everything. But can we just take this at face value for a second? With all the other AI shenanigans we've seen, witnessed, responded to, laughed at, and mocked, isn't it possible that this book does exist and almost duped this kid into taking care of the tarantula the wrong way? Hi, post-editing Pat here, because I couldn't have Andy be subjected to this madness I'm deep diving into. So it's all been me the entire time. Just to see if I could actually find out if this book does exist, I went on Amazon and I looked up tarantula care books and I came across this one. And not only does the picture of the tarantula seem a little off, I scroll down to the review right here. Based on the reviews, it seems that what the AI system did was confuse uh, tarantula care with poodle or toy dog care. So yeah, be mindful of what you buy. God, this is feeling more like a rant than it is supposed to be funny, and I apologize for that, but it's, it kind of goes hand in hand because that's, the, it happens, right? Sometimes a funny AI thing will happen and we'll laugh our ass off and it's like, well, maybe it's not so bad because, you know, those stupid fucking things like this one. Water is in ingredients. Deep stuff. And it also gets really funny on a site that is definitely plagued with the dead internet theory. Facebook. You know, the thing that you keep so your grandparents can talk to you because they're not using anything else? Why are grounding wires not insulated? You ready for this one? 
<sighs> good conductivity, 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 good conductivity. You know, you gotta feel bad for Robin Schultz. Didn't get a single like on this. Damon got a heart. That's pretty impressive. And I like they'll just post shit that's kind of pretty gruesome to say for reactions on Facebook. Like, and then dead announcement sends internet into meltdown. Like, who, who said this? No one said this. He's still alive. Also, there's something very unsettling about that image. Let me just check. Just pop that into searches and, uh... <laughs> it's a smoothed out version of this image from Entertainment Weekly's 2003 article of 8 Mile. <laughs> the yesified porn martial matters. But you know, it really, it, it, it all depends on how you feel about this situation, right? Like it's very apparent that it's, you know, becoming more of a frequent issue, but you still have to look out for it, right? You still have to deep dive to find these things. But at what point does the deep dive become just a shallow walk until you realize most of the things you're seeing on your favorite social media sites aren't real. It's even becoming an issue on YouTube. Like you've guys seen it. You've seen like the avatar of just someone's ass asking like the most insightful questions and then you realize their account is fake as fuck. And it's amusing when shit like that happens and they respond to almost borderline AI generated videos, like the movie cap reviews that are just done in an AI voice. And I wanna end this video by just saying that I didn't do this as a negative thing. I did it more as an awareness that you just gotta look out for this stuff and be careful because it's so easy these days to get tricked on the internet. And believe me, I've been on it since I was 10. I'm 33 now. It's 23 years of this shit being ingrained into my fucking brain. It's so much easier to point out shit that that's, that's fake when you've been on it for so long. But when you're fresh faced to this or just how well versed it can get, yeah, you gotta play that game of, is this someone doing a bit or is it just someone that's using a machine to get money out of you? But how I'm actually gonna end this video is with this post from Pokemon. Ogre Pin's attributes, including its ability and type, will change depending on which mask it puts on. Which of Ogre Pin's four forms is your favorite? Reason behind climate change, reason for hot weather, super, beautiful, cheers, sure, just love, better, love, oh no, hello, yeah, yeah, that, yeag, oh no, true, pretty, windows, yeag, oh so pretty, gorgeous, goddess, reason behind global warming, windows, window, reason for global warming, princess, yeah, yes, windows, yeah, yep. Yeah, sure, sure is passionate about digital and intrigued by crypto, right? This is taller. A real person, I swear to God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching or listening or just having me in the background while you do stuff or you know you're you're eating food, whatever time it is that you decide to watch this. I personally pick breakfast to watch YouTube videos. If I had like a final thought I had about what I would think about the dead internet theory, I don't really think it's entirely legitimate but it is kind of scary how baffling the internet is right like yeah we picked a few websites but that doesn't count for the entire map of the internet but it is also like the most heavily foot trafficked websites where bots usually like to roam around and try to scam people i feel like what really how i feel about this is i wished ai was just in the hands of people that knew how to use it. I think when it became more open sourced, it became a problem. Because it didn't become what it was supposed to be. Like I felt like if it was a tool that just truly assisted us in like writing, if it gave us a prompt or caught us in like loopholes or even in painting, like if you need an idea of how to do a forest background, it can help you. But at the same time, you don't learn fully from it. You might get a general idea of like how a forest background is supposed to be, but you, we as humans love to challenge ourselves. We love to test ourselves. If something is just built like this to cut every possible corner so that there's no more challenge in our creativity, we don't learn and we don't grow from it. Just like any tool, 
in the hands of a creative mind, it could do some amazing things. In the hand of someone who just wants to collect a paycheck, it's complete and utter shit. <laughs>